I work for a women's magazine and we receive a lot of email and a lot of uh, texts and stuff from uh, women talking about some of the topics that you guys cover in the movie. So I wanted to ask you first, one of them is how women feel a lot of pressure from other women instead of men. Do, you know, it's, um, I, I certainly see, see that happen and I see examples of kind of judgment and unkindness that we have to each other, but I've got to say, I try not to spend time with women who do that and I try really hard not to be a woman like that. Um, I think there are a lot of really good stories out there of women who are able to support other women. And I don't think we hear about those a lot. I don't know why we always go for the, the negative version of things, you know? Right. There's this thing in the movie where um, women seem to be not afraid of taking positions of power, but for some reason just don't seem to, to reach them. Uh, well, I think Sheryl Sandberg address this issue and lean in really, really well about the idea of uh, sort of the self-consciousness that women have about not wanting to appear like X or Y, and uh, so they hold back when they should be leaning in. Um, and then I think that <clears throat> when you talk about uh, women in the workplace, equality in the workplace, uh, pay parity, things like that, I think you have to look at uh, uh, the way mothers are treated in the workplace because usually what happens is in the 20s, uh, in their 20s, women and men are kind of uh, progressing equally and then women get pregnant and uh, it does wind up affecting their career. And I see a really, really positive trends in companies now who are focusing on parental leave. And so if, uh, and it's a new concept, but it's catching on. And so if, uh, if a couple is having a baby, um, both the woman and the man are required to take time off, so that way it kind of takes care of that stigma and possibly the unconscious um, bias towards somebody who's perceived as taking time off. Right. That's another thing that we hear about a lot is women feeling guilty about leaving uh, the home to go to the workplace right when they've had a child. Do you have, after working on this movie, do you have any advice for those girls who are feeling a little guilty? I don't have, I haven't done it, so do you, do you, I mean, you've had children, do you? Feel guilty, you said. Well, well, yeah, just that idea that like you have a child at home and you have to go to work. Yeah, no, I, I, you do. You know, you, you feel. Um, I felt that this morning, so you know, so it's what it is, you know. Um, yeah. There's a. I, don't, I, I think yeah, parents. That's a, lot, a common feeling with parents, no matter father or mother. Yeah. And there's a really interesting idea in this movie that your character really shows how chivalry and uh, feminism are not against each other. Right. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I uh, agree with the, those, uh, that uh, part of Ben. Most of the things about Ben, I feel, are, uh, are right for me, you know. After finishing the movie, was there something like that, that you learned in the environment of e-commerce that... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, she just showed me how to do uh, Instagram. <laughs> I saw, I saw. <laughs> uh, I learned that it's a lot of fun to shop online. Um, I don't think I had necessarily gotten that into it. But um, while I was working on this movie, we were surrounded by so many awesome clothes. I was really inspired. And um, I did my fall shopping, pretty much all of it online. And it was really fun being able to be like, okay, what kind of black skirt do I want? And this site has one, but this one has one for quite a bit less. And mm -hmm. so I like doing that. And did it fit? I'm not the same size I was when I bought it, <laughs> so it fit then. <laughs> not so much now. <laughs>